in this video, I'm going to show you how to open up Photoshop, how to take an image off the internet and put it into Photoshop, and how to use the Zoom tool when you're in Photoshop. So first, to open up Photoshop, you can either double click on the icon that's on your desktop, or you can go to start and start typing Photoshop and it should come up and you can click on there and Photoshop will open up. Once Photoshop opens up, we can see that there are there is this area called the toolbox. Up here we have the menu bar and here we have the option bar. And over on this side, we have uh, what are called palettes. So to bring an image from the internet into Photoshop, there's a couple steps that you want to follow. The first thing is that you will Google something. I Googled giraffes and I went to um, the image ser search. And once you find a picture that you like, you need to click on it, check it out, make sure it's what you want. And then you should go to view image. That way you get the best, highest quality version of that image. The next step in bringing it into Photoshop is to right click on the image and go to copy image. Then you will go down to Photoshop, go up to file and new. If you prefer uh, keyboard shortcuts, you can do control N, press OK, and then edit paste or control V to paste that image that we've copied into Photoshop. So let's do that again. If we search for something, so I'm going to search for a hat. I click on the image. I go to view image. Next, I right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop, file new, press OK, and edit paste. I have the giraffe and I have a hat. The next thing I'd like to show you is the zoom tool. The zoom tool is all the way almost at the bottom of the toolbox and it looks kind of like a magnifying glass and you can use it in several ways. So here you can see that it has a plus in the middle of that magnifying glass. So when I click, let me switch to this image. You can switch from image to image with the tabs. When I click, you can see I'm zooming in on the image to where I can actually see the individual pixels. Photographs are made up of pixels. They're just tiny little boxes full of color. So I can zoom all the way in and see those pixels. If I want to zoom out, up in my option bar, which gives me options for whatever tool I'm on, I can choose minus and I can zoom out. In fact, I can over zoom out so that it's very small. If I double click on the zoom tool, it will make it fill the size of my working window. I have a couple other shortcuts uh, one is if you are on the minus tool and you want to switch to the plus tool, but you don't feel like going all the way up here, you can use the keyboard shortcut alt. So if it's minus and you go down alt, it turns into a plus. And if it's a plus and you hold down alt, it turns into the minus. There's a couple other quick shortcuts. There's actual pixels. There's fit screen, there's fill screen, 
And there's print size. So if we were going to print it out on a piece of paper, this is the size that it would be.